Sectors 5 through 9 in operable, sectors 1 through 4 operational. Facility status activated, array status deactivated. What's the reading? Not holding. We'll need to reinforce the chamber again. for this. Then Ravis will reward me. He will tell me the plan, the real plan. Through combat, I will prove myself. Then I will be truly free. That's a lightsaber. Suboptimal levels. Array remains inert. Give me some fight! How many more are waiting for us? Bad feeling? Yeah, me too. Fight by my side.
Good job, PD. This thing's got your name all over it. That's how you do it. Let's show this to Z. Where's the laboratory? The laboratory is off limits. The laboratory is inaccessible. You're okay. Find somewhere to hide. I don't have access. I tried to tell them. Please, leave me be. The Raiders really did a number on these droids. I don't have access to the laboratory. Please, leave me be. Okay. Good luck.
What's this? Unlock this. We need to use this. Force is with me. All right, let's go. Greetings. You all right? As well as can be expected, considering no one has bothered to talk to me in many cycles. Intriguing data. I can help you. There is something valuable that lies at the bottom of this facility. Thanks. We'll see what we can find. You all right? The sky is broken. What broke the sky? The emergence. Scanning. Sector 6 Alpha. Seven anomalies. Scanning. Sector 6 Beta. One anomaly. The sky is broken. The masters are gone. done yet. We can do this. Ready, BD? that buddy Pushed around by anyone else. 
Happy to help. What a haunted old ruin. But if the boss says there's something here, who am I to question it? something to fight. Ravis won't be too happy if you get any closer. So run along, Jedi. Zeke can decrypt this for us. I bet Z can get the data off this disk. normal.
cannot enter the laboratory. They're not supposed to. You okay? They're not allowed to enter. Take this back to Z. getting to it. Good find, Beatty.
to center myself. Droids left alone here for centuries until the raiders came. This trinket is broken, useless. According to the manifest.
I'll go. I'm the best pilot for this mission, and you know it. Every ship we've sent into the Abyss has vanished without a trace. We'll go together. I cannot let you take the risk alone. This is your invention. No one else understands it. You're the only one who can guide me back. All right. I'll record the passage and make sure you return to us. Free and Dagon. Focus. Time to move. We're locked out. Master Cordova said Dagon had a retreat on Kobo. Let's find it. Whatever he used to cross the abyss, maybe we'll find it there. Would have liked to see you scrapping ships on Braca in your younger days. Can't imagine what it must have been like to be here when the moon was destroyed. What a waste. Feels good to be back in the cockpit. You missed the mantis, huh? Sure, I was worried about the kind of abuse you were putting it through. Don't get me wrong, I trust you both, but I knew you'd be taking her to some dangerous places. At least back when we were all together, I knew it was my fault if I flew us into an asteroid field. Well, I'm happy to let you go ahead and make all the mistakes you like. Uh-huh. Remind me who crashed the mantis into Dredger Gorge? If it's all the same, Cal, I'm going to stay busy here, yeah? You just let me know when you're ready to go.
mix it up. All set. Let's test the weight balance. Ready to roll with this. <laughs> Where to next? Give that old tech cow found in the lab a look. Couldn't make heads or tails of it. Maybe we'll put some pieces together after we check out Dagon's retreat on Kobo. People go to Kobo after things fall apart, not to put things back together. You seem pretty put together, Grease. But don't you have a silver tongue? Maybe I'll let you take the manis for a swing sometime. Really? On second thought, no. All right, Cal, get up here.
Watch yourself around the stone spires, Cal. What'd you hear? Apparently the Raider base isn't too far from there. Thanks for the warning. Don't worry about things here, Cal. Know anything about the High Republic residences on Kobo? Oh, when I first got here, I did a little exploring of my own. I went into a place, and then I heard creepy voices, and I got out of there in a hurry. I'll let you know if I hear any voices, Grease. Wise guys. Go do what you gotta do. Master Cordova's research shows an abandoned settlement past the east side of the valley. Let's go check it out. Let's stop for a moment. Okay, let's go. Did you end up on the wrong side of the law? After my studies, I worked in the Republic Tax Collection Agency investigating revenue disputes. You were a tax collector? Sounds pretty legitimate so far. Drearily legitimate. But it did introduce me to a steady procession of people desperate for things to shake out in their favor, so to speak. And you helped them out for a price? Yes. But my fee was nothing compared to the price they paid at the hands of a corrupt system. Whatever you say, Moran. Another time. So how'd you become a music producer? I was born on Riosa, in the Inner Rim. I've heard of it. Lots of heavy industry. Yeah, you couldn't escape the factories. So I used to make little tunes out of the noise from them in my head. You started early then. And never stopped. You have more songs to bring me, Cal. They're waiting. You know anything about the High Republic settlement off towards the swamps? Well, of course. The whole area was devastated when the moon fell on it. You're heading there, aren't you? Yeah. Need some information from the ruins. Well, what's your step? Rockfall is a big problem. Unless increasing your friction coefficient is another one of your talents. <laughs> That was a physics joke. Okay. Thanks for the warning. Oh, local legend holds that those ruins are chock full of ghosts. Of course, I would not believe in that kind of thing. But you tell me if you saw one, yeah? You bet. So what'd you do before you came here? I used to perform in a medicine show. I was required to dress in garish outfits and read fortunes while others would scan the audience. It sounds a little demeaning. Yes, but the experiences we carry always have a use, Sojourner. When I arrived on Kobo, I noticed a charlatan trying to swindle someone with fool's priorite. How'd you know? He wore long sleeves in the heat. Sleight of hand, huh? I saw a merchant on Karelia do that. An old trick. Well, I stopped the sale, and Doma has been grateful ever since. And the swindler? Tried the trick on the Raiders, so I hear. Sojourner, you smell of smoke and sand. I should take another shower then. Talk to you later, Two Locked. Go back. Perceptive. Also not as dumb as I first thought. Thanks. Go on now. I'm busy. Barkeep. You look tired. Take a load off. Ever pick up any good tips from bartending? For starters, every client has a tell. 
What's my tell? Well, if I told you, it wouldn't be a tell. Uh, fine. So what's your tell? My incurable honesty. Hey, sport, can't chat now. Keeping an eye on those two treasure hunters who just showed up. Remember to relax every now and then, will you? Too much tension in the coils is bad for the joints, if you catch my drift. See you later, Monk. Private table. All right, then. Whoa, easy, Grok. Sorry about my friend here. He's just a little guarded. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Name's Dana. You might say my partner and I have a talent for turning opportunity into profit. I'm Cal. This is BD. Noisy little thing. We're thinking of heading to Dredger Gorge. Ever been? Once or twice. I'd be careful out there. That's gang turf. Gang turf? Grok! Sure it ain't that bad. The hell I'm risking my neck on gang turf. <laughs> hey, it was great meeting you, Cal. Got some business to discuss with my old pal here. <laughs> Come on, BD. How'd you two meet, anyway? I all started with this Merc crew I joined. Croc had been recruited a few months earlier. On account of my good looks. That's right. Mm, and me on account of being the smoothest thing since Hut Blubber. Anyways, things were good until our outfit tried to pull one over on the Empire. So we... We took off and started our own thing. The rest of the outfit ended up dead or imprisoned. With the car, Croc! I was telling it! Kid doesn't need our whole life story. Uh -uh. Point is, Rock and I realize that we're better off just the two of us. We know the feeling. How you doing? Hey, got a sec? It looks like I've met your whole crew, Cal. The old crew, that is. <laughs> Seemed like there was some tension between you and Seer, huh? It's always a little strange seeing someone after being apart for years. Mm. I don't have too many people like that in my life. Well, that probably says more about me than you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's just me and Kata. And that's about as much as I can handle these days. The more people in your life, the more you can lose. You know? When Kobo's moon was shattered, the Republic settlement collapsed, leaving those spires. That place isn't just an old ruin. It's a tomb. Might just be Grease's stew talking, but this place is beginning to grow on me. Who taught you to hunt, Mosey? Oh yeah, I grew up in a large family. My siblings and I competed with one another for attention, praise, food sometimes. Had to be the strongest to stand out. Sounds intense. Yeah, Mama was hardest on me. Always pointing out a mistake, criticizing my techniques. That must have toughened you up. Yeah, it likely did. But I've come to resent it. Probably the reason why I flung myself here. I barely knew my parents. Yeah. Well, that ain't always a bad thing now, is it? Watch yourself out there. You do the same, Mosey. I know things are pretty tough right now, but think about the old days. Remember that scrape on Dathomir, Kashyyyk? That was a close call, but now it's even more dangerous. I wonder what it'll be like on the other side of all this, you know? Assuming we live through it. Not now, Cal. I'm pretty sure Monk reorganized my entire spice rack. But I don't know exactly what he changed, but I don't hate it. Ha! Huh. Could he actually know what he's doing? After being back on the Manus, this saloon is looking filthy by comparison. Maybe some cleaning will help. Come on. Hey, Scuba. How's the water? Ah, oh, fine. I just wanted to thank you for lending me a tank. 
Plenty more space for plenty more fishes, though. Let's keep them all spinning, eh? Oh, Cal, it's delightful to see you fully intact. Holding up okay? Fine, thanks. It's not the first time this frontier has been terrorized by marauders, you know. But once more, the noble Jedi Knights rise to the occasion. I appreciate the thought, see, but we should watch the whole noble knight stuff. Yes, uh, of course. Good luck tracking down those leads, and please, do let me know if you find anything. Stay safe, and keep an eye out for more raiders. Oh, I will. May the Force be with you, Cal. Cal, I've got a question for an accomplished warrior like yourself. Say your enemies are closing in fast, with blasters drawn and murder in their eyes. Uh, okay. What do you do? I focus on the moment and trust my training. Overthinking what will happen can make you freeze up. Yeah, that makes sense. But the most important thing is to know what you're fighting for. My life? And that's a start. I wish I could be a fearless warrior like you. But I can't, so I'm glad you're around. Hey, Zig, what's going on? Enjoying the view. Not often we get this much of a crowd of pilots. Hey there. Hey boss, you think we got a shot at negotiating with the Bedlam Raiders over a couple of drinks? Uh, I don't think these Raiders are the reasonable sort. What if those drinks were poison? Now we're talking. Gulu, Guido, what's going on? Just bemoaning the sorry state of affairs in this place. What did the raiders do this time? No, not them. We were talking about how things ain't like the good old days. When we started out here, life was grand. The place was nearly empty. Barely anyone to bother you. Sounds like paradise. Well, it's the way of the galaxy. The only constant is change, and everything gets worse with time. Yeah. And there's always one Turgle everywhere you go. <laughs> so long. Huh? Don't bite, I promise. You look like trouble.
Hey, little guy. <laughs> The charge is set. Get back! What, nothing? Uh, I thought you said this was good thermite. Prospectors didn't stand a chance.
Let's go, BD. Yeah! Why should we? Uh, I can be of use to you. Yeah, 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 that's it. Whatever you want. I'm your frog. Oh, we'll see. Boss is looking for something. Find it, or we'll find you. Grab a lift, beating. Here we go. Quite an arsenal you've got there. Ars? What? Why do you ask this of Gara? Business is none of yours. I'm not here to make trouble. What do you plan to do with all this? I present as gift to Ravis. Great tribute, yes? Tribute? You mean you want to join the Raiders? Join the Raiders, yes. No more prospecting, no longer other saying weak of Gara. Much glory and blood of Ravis. The Raiders are dangerous. And not known to strike deals. Danger, eh? Gara gorge self on danger. Gara live for thrill of kill. But you are not killer like Gara. You are deaf to the call of battle. All right. I guess I'll leave you to it. Good. Yes, leave. There is much to do. What? You take more time of Gara? Just seems dangerous to be bargaining with raiders. Danger, eh? Gara gorge self on danger. Gara live for thrill of kill. But you are not killer like Gara. You are deaf to the call of battle. You do not want to join the Raiders. Gara doesn't want to join the Raiders. The Raiders are unreliable. It's too dangerous to bargain with them. Yes. Raiders? Are not to be trusted. Too dangerous for Gara. No, no, deal is off. Too risky. Contraband. Here, you take. Gara no wants. All right then. Are you just gonna leave all this here? You takes contraband. Gara gets rid of rest. Too risky for keeps. Eh, eh. You here still? You take contraband! You leave! Alright, got it. Come on, Echo.
Did you do that? Wait, what? No! Moving out. Let's go. We should keep our photo receptor sealed for a while. We're gonna take you out! We got done! <laughs> Time to go.
Get going, BD1. Trust in the Force, Padawan. Good, Neko. for the help. Let's keep going. 